It does not look like Rachel Zegler is going to be able to cast aside the label that she is a box office poison anytime soon. The latest box office predictions for the upcoming The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes predict that it will have the worst opening weekend in franchise history and it will likely lose a lot of money. Let's get into this here. Box Office Pro recently shared their long-range predictions for the Rachel Zegler film, predicting that it will gross between $35 million and $45 million in its domestic opening weekend. That's absolutely awful, as you, as I will show you here in a little bit. The outlet also predicted the film will only gross between $90 million and $142 million in its entire run at the domestic box office. So the previous worst opening weekend in the Hunger Games franchise was 2015's The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. The film grossed a total of $102.6 million in its opening weekend. It went on to earn $281.7 million in its domestic run. That's right. The worst opening for the franchise was Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. It grossed $102.6 million. They're predicting that this upcoming film... The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is only going to gross in its opening weekend between $35 million and $45 million. That is more than a 50% decrease. Absolutely abysmal. Abysmal. Uh, the original Hunger Games film had an opening weekend of $152.5 million back in 2012. It went on to gross $408 million at the domestic box office. The sequel, The Hunger Games Catching Fire, had the biggest opening weekend in franchise history with $158 million haul in 2013. It went on to gross a total of $424.6 million at the domestic box office. Finally, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 had an opening weekend of $121.8 million. It grossed a total of $337.1 domestically. Uh, production budgets for the previous four films have ranged between $80 million for the first film to $160 million for Mockingjay Part 2. Catching Fire had a budget of $130 million, and Mockingjay Part 1 had a $125 million budget. If you take the original film's production budget of $80 million, the movie would likely need to gross around $200 million worldwide. Looking at the low-end total estimates for the film's domestic box office, it's possible the film does not break even, even if you add in global totals. So the first two Hunger Games films made more domestically than it did internationally. The original film grossed $269.9 million internationally. Catching Fire did $440.2 million internationally. However, both Mockingjay films did bring in more internationally than domestically. Uh, part 1 did $429.4 million, while Part uh, 2 did $364.8 million. So if you take the trends from both Mockingjay films, which saw just shy of a 30% increase in the international box office compared to the domestic, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes will only bring in $207 million globally. However, if you take that split from the original film, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes will only bring in around $151 million globally. Finally, if you, take the, if you look at the split for Catching Fire, uh, the, the film will, should bring in $177 million globally. So looking at the high end, um, so, so clearly, like all of that is uh, is pretty much below that uh, two hundred million dollar uh, mark there that they would need to have, right? You have the only the one there, right there, the the two hundred seven million um, is where it could p potentially be if it performs as well as uh, the Mockingjay films internationally compared to uh, domestic, uh, where you might see it just barely break even with that two hundred seven million. Uh, but if you look at the high-end prediction of $142 million domestically, the film could gross $326 million globally if it shows a, a similar split to the Mockingjay films. That would definitely make it uh, profitable if, indeed, the film only had an $80 million production budget. If it follows a similar pattern to the original film, the film's global gross would come in around $237 million. Uh, that, too, would be profitable if you assume an $80 million budget. It would bring in $280 million if it follows the domestic and international split of Catching Fire. Again, it would be profitable. Uh, however, if The Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes has a budget similar to Mockingjay Part 2, the film needs to rake in at least $400 million. That would mean even if the film hits the high-end pred predictions offered by Box Office Pro, it would lose money no matter what scenario, and that's assuming a similar split between the domestic and inter international, right? Even if it has a similar budget to Mockingjay Part 1, it would need to gross $312.5 million to at least break even. A budget similar to Catching Fire would require the film to gross at least $325 million to break even. And then if you take the average budget of all four films, which is $123.7 million, uh, the film would need to gross at least $310 million to break even. And it's just not there based on these box office pro predictions. Uh, so I think it's safe to conclude that these box office projections for The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes do not bode well. And it looks uh, like not only will this film be the worst performing Hunger Games film in the franchise's history, but it looks like it will also lose Lionsgate probably tens of millions of dollars. Uh, if the film indeed flops, it would mark another flop in actress Rachel Zegler's short career. Currently, all films the actress have starred in have been box office losers. Those films are West Side Story and Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Uh, 
so that is what to expect. Uh, those are what the predictions are right now for the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Well, I will leave it to you. What do you make of these predictions? Do you expect it to go higher? Do you expect it to go lower? Do you expect that this will be another uh, box office failure for Rachel Zegler? Subscribe for more.